Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rafa here from Rafa2241. I'm currently at Passer's Interchange in uh, Singapore. And today I'm gonna take you on board a Mercedes Benz 0530 Citaro uh, C1 uh, in a facelift version. Now, this model is very common uh, in Singapore. I think there are over 1,000 uh, buses running, uh, which makes it a model that bus enthusiasts generally don't like. In addition to that, they also don't have uh, particularly any interesting engine or gearbox sounds, uh, which is what, uh, which is generally a reason why we like a certain bus model. And so, um, yeah, th this is why it's generally not liked. But I chose to ride this unit arriving on service 354 over here, which I think will sound better than the average. Sitaro in Singapore. Oh, okay. It's not. Um, it's not picking up passengers yet, but maybe it will be soon. At least from what I'm hearing from the, from the outside, it sounds better than the average Sitaro in Singapore. So I'm hoping that it will sound good on the inside, but we will see. Okay, maybe it's going to pick up passengers now. Um, yep, looks like it is. So we're going to be riding bus SVS 6422C, a Citaro operated by Go Ahead Singapore. Let's get on board. And uh, generally, the Citaro has many specifications which other bus models in Singapore uh, don't have. Um, they're the only, this is, it is the only model to feature uh, seats by City Star Eco. Um, and doors uh, by Bo, which is uh, something most of the Mercedes city buses uh, around the world uh, feature, or at least in, in Europe, I should say, by that. How it sounds. I'm going to move to the middle seat so that we have an entire view of the bus. And generally, Sotaro is a model I like. Yes, even though most units don't have an interesting uh, engine or gearbox sound, uh, I still like it because the interior overall reminds me a lot of um, Europe. It's pretty much the only bus model um, that actually reminds me of uh, Europe in Singapore.
it looks like I was wrong about the about how the bus sounds. I thought it would sound good because I could clearly hear uh, the voice your box on the exterior, but I cannot really hear it from the interior. But I think a lot of uh, fact, a lot of other factors add to whether a bus sounds uh, good from the inside versus to whether it sounds good from the outside. Um, it can probably be uh, sound insulation uh, and other factors. I think I got tricked.
saw there were uh, five batches, no sorry, four, uh, one in uh, different specifications for another operator, but that was the first batch and, this, and the remaining batches, uh, the buses from the remaining batches all look like uh, this. And, uh, they were being delivered until 2017. But this this bus is from the uh, from the third batch of all the Sitaros and the um, second batch of Sitaros in this specification. Um, so I would, so if I'm not wrong, this bus probably dates from 2013 or 14. Yeah, it's relatively new. Um, for a uh, uh, C1 facelifted Sitaro. This version of Sitaro um, started uh, being uh, sold in 2007, 2006 or 7, and um, and they uh, quick production in 2013. Uh, for most of the markets, but for the Singapore market, they kept uh, producing this version until 2017. Just oh, yeah. a fun fact. I think you guys can probably hear the difference of how the engine sounds from the uh, outside compared to the inside. Um, I find it definitely sounds much better from the outside. I thought it would sound good from the inside, but it was not the case. It's alright. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you found uh, the information I said useful. Um, I'll try to make more of those videos where I get on a bus or train and um, talk about the bus or train I'm on. And uh, for now, stay, stay tuned for the next video. See you guys.